9 o'clock in the morning and I am going to throw some dinner in the crock pot right now. I've got lots of frozen chicken breasts here. We are going to have something that I saw over on Grit and Grace. I think Grace and Grit. Grit and Grace. I'll link to her channel down below. I'm sorry. I might have her name wrong. Um, so I'm going to just make her barbecue stuffed sweet potatoes. So I've got my chicken in. I'm going to throw in some minced garlic some barbecue sauce this is not the greatest barbecue sauce like in terms of cleanness um but i had this left over and i'm big on finishing up and just replacing with better options as we go along so we're going to finish this up today this is i think the last one that i have that's just like an original so i'll buy a cleaner version the next time a cup of water which i don't have yet obviously but a cup of water some onion powder and some black pepper in there as well so I'm just going to throw all that in and cook it on, I'm going to start it on high for an hour-ish um, when I leave to take the girls to school because we've got some errands to run. I will switch it over to low and just let it cook all day long. So... Good morning friends, welcome to Wednesday. So I did something totally new this morning. We went to a local co-op and we bought food and a bale of hay for our newest family member that we are bringing home tonight. So stay tuned and you'll find out what it is. If you haven't figured it out from this morning's announcement by Addison, um, you will see what it is soon. But we are now sitting in the Walmart parking lot because my three littlest all had little growth spurts and need a new pair of sneakers. Since the weather's getting colder, we can't go sandals and whatever else now. So we're going to go in and find them a pair of sneakers. Um, I honestly like Walmart for my little kids because they grow so fast and they wear them out so fast that they're pretty cheap and then I start getting them the really good ones like Nikes and Skechers especially my big girls like Skechers so I start getting those once they start going to school and things like that so when we get home I have to get this bale of hay out of my car figure out how to store that uh, then I got I have a couple other things to do to get ready for this afternoon and I have to clean my car because like I'm so embarrassed I'm gonna show it to you because you know we're friends. Friends show things to each other, right? Um, so I'm going to show it to you even though I'm super embarrassed by it, but I will show you my super messy car and you can clean it with me. So now I'm going to take these little guys in the store and we are going to find some shoes. So see you in a minute. We'll show you what we get. So we are home now and I thought I'd show you what I got at Walmart real quick before we have some lunch. And I'm going to cook for So I got some eggnog. Michael and Charlotte just love that. So I picked up some eggnog. It was $2.88 at Walmart for the half gallon. My goal this year is to learn how to make this in the crock pot. But until I learn how to make it, I did pick them up some. Then I actually do not use shortening for anything except for my chocolate chip cookies. And this looked like a much healthier alternative to the Crisco butter flavor that we typically get when I was reading the ingredients list it just looked like a better choice I know it's probably not like a great choice but it looked like a better choice so I got that then the little girls all needed shoes so Isabel got herself some frozen shoes they light up on the sides which is fun she is not going to school yet so light up is just fine for her I actually needed a pair of shoes for Teddy because we're out and about quite a bit and so I had to get him some shoes which we're for? Yeah, which we're for. And these are cool because they open up on one side and it's so much easier to get their feet in there. So just so you know, maybe look for something like that. I didn't know they made those for little boys' shoes. So there's his. And then Abigail got super bright pink, super sparkly unicorn shoes. And that kind of fits her personality. <laughs> and finally... Charlotte needed a Halloween costume in case they have Halloween at school like no one is sure yet if it's gonna happen so we need to be prepared and she honestly has not decided on a costume but one thing she said was a witch so I walked through and they had a witch costume for $4.98 so I picked up this costume it comes with the hat the dress and 
a belt around the middle. And I got her a matching broom for, let's see, how much was that? $3.48. So I spent around... I spent around $9 on this for her costume, and then actually everyone else is pretty much just using costumes that we already have. So that's what I got at Walmart today. Teeny little haul. She's going to be Elsa. What are you going to be? Elsa. She's going to be a one from Addison. Addison's going to be a one from Paw Patrol. Addison's oh, yeah, she's going to be Marshall. Yeah. Right? Because we had Marshall, and then we had Elsa. And well, Teddy says, I'm going to be a pumpkin, because we had a yes. pumpkin costume, too. Teddy's going to be a pumpkin, Charlotte's going to be a witch, and Addison's going to be... Addison decided to be Hermione from Harry Potter, and we actually already had the whole Harry Potter costume, so I just ordered her her own wand, because Charlotte's got a collectible wand, and that's what she used when she was Harry Potter or Hermione last year. Um, and I might be saying that wrong. The girls are always telling me I say it wrong, so sorry if I did. But that's what they are going to be this year, and we had all the costumes except for Charlotte and except for the wand. So I've spent almost nothing on Halloween this year, which is interesting. My van was so embarrassingly messy, you guys. It was awful. But I decided to just get to work and get it cleaned up. Now you're going to see here in a few minutes when I'm done cleaning through my van that I did not vacuum it out and that is because Teddy really, really needed a nap and he was done being patient and playing in his pack and play at this point. So I put him down for a nap before I got it all vacuumed out. But doesn't it just look so much better? Even just having the toys and everything picked up out of it and it just needs a good vacuuming makes me feel so much better. Here's a quick tip that I have for you about something to keep in your van to make life easier. This is the coolest thing that I have found. It is a cereal keeper, but you put a plastic bag in it and it puts the trash in and just locks it right in there. I did it. That was not nearly as difficult as I thought it was going to be. Um, I had the right tool, snapped the the uh, wire that was holding the it together. Ooh, I'm a little warm though, so yeah. And I get flushed super easy, so oh well. So um, snapped that off, and then they just peeled in layers, which was pretty easy, except for the last couple that I had trouble getting in there. So here's what I've got. I threw these in the back of I threw these in the back of my garage. So I've got one right here and then one underneath. So the weight of this one, the weight of this one on top, honestly, is kind of holding the lid down on this one. It's not too bad, just enough that like I don't want any bugs or anything to get into it. So this top one is kind of holding it nice and tight. And then this one has these um the handles that flip and grab. So that one's on there pretty tight too. So that is done. Hey, what did we get today? A uh, bunny, my bunny. What's his name? His Oreo. name is Oreo. I yeah. named him and he's my bunny. Here's Oreo. Everybody say hi to Oreo. Hi. Oreo's getting lots of pets, but he's staying inside so he can get used to his new surroundings. He's a super don't, friendly bunny. Don't watch it. see you, bunny. I uh, hey, yeah. He found where the hay is. We've got this nice big cage for him. This is my bunny. Yeah. Your bunny for what? For 4-H!
right here's our dinner tonight. So this one's mine. Sweet potato with some barbecue chicken on there, black beans, a little bit of cheese. Um, I'm actually probably going to have more veggies. I usually have about double that, but I'll have more veggies with mine. And then there's the kids. They don't have any beans on theirs because they don't really like them that much. But if they want them, they can have some beans on there. And then Mike is not home yet. So I've got some veggies for him and his sweet potato is in there because I cooked those in the crock pot all day as well. So the kids just keep running in and out, checking on Oreo, the new rabbit. Um, so that's kind of just been our excitement for the day and I've got a whole house that needs cleaned up. It's kind of a mess right now, but that's all right. Um, I can get to that, I'm sure. So we're gonna have some dinner and just get everybody ready and go to bed probably just a little bit early tonight because everyone's so tired. So. Thanks for watching today, and I will see you next time. Bye.